Sally is in big demand and has built a reputation reading one-to-one -one for celebrities. Today, she's taken time out of her tour to read for the Only Way is Essex star, Mark Wright. Uh, if I got a message today, I think I'd be really, really, you know, I'd be a bit chilled and a bit scared, but I'd really, really appreciate it. Hi, Sally, how are you? Hello, Mark. I'm very well, thank you. Lovely to meet you. And you. And um, you're not nervous, are you, about Pretty for my handshake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's nothing to worry about. You've never done this before. No, never, never. I'm excited, but a bit nervous. Come on, then, let's go. <laughs> Follow me. As soon as I met you, um, there's a lovely man that walks with you. When I look at him, I would say he was your granddad. Mm. Um, and uh, uh, wanting really to protect you, wanting to make sure that you sort of don't go off the rails. My granddad was a very protective man. Uh, He's Nanny Pat's uh, husband. And he is very concerned at the moment about Pat and where Pat is living. There may be some issues there. My granddad always worried uh, about when he died, what he would leave my nan, because uh, she lives in Dagenham, and um, that she'd be on her own. And he always used to be like, you know, you kids better look after her, talking about my mum and my aunties and all that. So he was always concerned about who's going to look after her and where she's living, but they are all looking after her. She stays at all their houses, so, yeah. Your mum's very highlighted around you as well, so most of our mums are important in our lives, but very much for you at this moment. Um, he wants to protect your mum and he wants to protect you, so it's very, very loving. Mm. Um, and, and is there the name Carol? Yeah, that's my mum. Oh, that's it. Carol's my mother. Uh, she's the daughter of my granddad who came in um, and he used to protect her and he's, he's a very protective man. Uh, and he loved her to bits, so that's probably where that comes in. Rita, who's Rita? My granddad's sister. Who's still alive? Mm. Rita, yeah. Yeah. Her dad is here. Rita's dad. Mm. Which is your dad's grandfather. Yeah. And he is standing here. Mm. What's he saying? The boy done good. And he's really sort of like recognising that. God, I just sent singles down my spine. You're going to have a watch stolen from you and it will be a girl that steals it. And you will see it on a boy's wrist. Bloody hell. Yeah. What, near to this And day? there's the name. Who is Dave? Yeah. My David? A my agent. Or your agent. You'll tell Dave about it because you won't know what to do about it. Give me a kiss. <laughs> it's not very often I get to kiss good-looking fellas. I make the most of it. I've always wanted to believe in all this stuff, but I never have totally because it's, it is hard to believe in it. But after some of the stuff that Sally said today, uh, I'm going to find it impossible to believe that people can't read the dead. Earlier today, Sally Morgan gave Essex celebrity Mark Wright a reading in Brentwood. Now she's joined by her husband John and Mark's fiance Lauren for a bite to eat. You know, obviously you've had amazing success with the Only Ways Essex, the mm. pair of you, but you've sort of like landed from another planet, really, as mm. far as I'm. Where, what were you doing before? I was working at the city in London. Um, I was like PA for all different sort of companies and stuff. So my life's completely changed in sort of area of work that I'm doing and stuff, which is quite strange. But yeah, it's weird. It's like weird. I'm trying to still go and get to grips with it, really. So what were you doing? Um, I was a nightclub promoter. I owned a company and I also um, put money into a bar as well. And how do you feel about, you know, your relationship, basically, being out there, being picked over, mm. you know, by everybody? It is hard, but I think, in the long run, we think that we well, care for the show as well and we put in... We've put in our life and our relationship on the telly and it's made such a great show. So it's like, in a way, it's hard, but we're also grateful for it, if you know what I mean. It's had it? to be hard to be good, so the hard bits in our relationship, you know, we've had to, we've had to show them for the show to be dramatic. Um, yeah. And it is nice having the good bits in our relationship, because then people say, oh, I used to look so in love, yeah, so that's yeah. nice. Yeah, but it's yeah, horrible yeah. and it's like, oh, I used to, we don't really love each other. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they need to show more a bit of the love side rather than just roused and... Um, the moany side. <laughs> I've got to ask this because um, my daughter Fern, who's a fan of yeah. the show, yeah. uh, she keeps going on about 
A vajazzle? What exactly is that? Um, it's the diamonds down there. Is <laughs> <laughs> that crystallised? Um, so you can put these little like crystals. Shape it's like a stencil, you. you know, like a stencil, and you can sort of like, but they're diamonds. Like yeah. some, I don't know if you've seen oh, them for like body art. Glue? Yeah, like an eyelash glue. What put on the skin? Or yeah, put on the skin. Be happy to know I've actually introduced a pijazzle. Puh. For the purr. Oh yeah. It's for free willy. I but call it free willy really? with John. <laughs> <laughs> I go, should we free willy? And he goes, what? <laughs> 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 So where does it go? He's a whale of a man, uh, yeah. my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of it until today. Well, John, I'm going to have to look into that. Well, on that note, I think we ought to go, don't you? Yep. It's been oh, so lovely. It's been lovely. It's been lovely. It's Thank been you. Lovely. Really nice. And we'll do it again. Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. Shall we maybe tea at the Ritz next time? Yeah. yeah. Oh, let's do that. <laughs> That's a lovely um, afternoon, wasn't it? Very nice. Very nice. People. Yeah. What do you um, What do you think about the pajazzle then? Do you fancy one? One? Well, you only need one crystal. I mean, I a few years... Well, I think that. a few years ago, John, you might have needed half a dozen, but you, trust me, you only need one now. Well, let's stop off and get some glue, then. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>